I saw that those pesky games were doing about women in comedy, and I like comedy, so I thought that I would share with you uh, a few of my favourite comedians and why I think they're so good. So, so first of all, I have Laura Solon, Miriam Elia, and Lisa Montgomery. The reason that I put these three together was that I heard all of their sketch shows at around about the same time, and they got me really interested in comedy. Um, so much more than I had been before. Uh, Miriam Elliot in particular, just because her sketch show was very weird and quite odd. Um, and I think also up until this point, I had sort of maybe believed the whole uh, women aren't funny, they're only jokes about periods thing, which obviously isn't true. But until then, I hadn't really heard that many women comedians. And Miriam Elliot just sort of came along and did things so... Um, surreal and nothing, nothing at all to do with being a woman. It like the characters didn't matter. She plays keys. I also think that the whole thing about women only do jokes about being a woman, kind of thing. Although obviously that isn't true. I don't think that there's anything wrong with women doing jokes about sort of stereotypically womany things because loads of male comedians do jokes about stereotypically man type things and. They don't seem to get in, they don't, no one really gets annoyed about that, so I don't think it should matter the other way around. Next on my list, I have Nina Conti. Uh, I want to talk about her because she's something interesting and a bit more different than just a stand-up. So, she recently did two shows for BBC4 called Make Me Happy, which was about New Age healing and that sort of thing, and Her Master's Voice, which was about Ken Campbell and taking the pup, his puppets to Venthaven, which is a place in America where they sort of display the puppets of dead ventriloquists. Uh, the reason that I really liked that show was because it blurred the lines between what was real and what wasn't, because it is real, because it was sort of a documentary about her trip there and deciding whether she still wanted to continue being a ventriloquist, but there was the sort of thing that she's playing the various characters of puppets as well, and it was a really nice balance between happy and sad also, something a bit more general about her is the fact that she is taking ventriloquism, which is something that you might think of as maybe a bit boring or old-fashioned, but she does very interesting, new and funny things with it. For example, she does a piece where the monkey wants to become real and takes over her body. And one year, she's been doing shows with her and then the monkey puppet, and she did one show where she was dressed as the monkey and had a puppet of herself. Next on my list, I have Miranda Hart. I don't actually have that much to say about her specifically, but I thought she was worth mention because her show is so popular and it's got such broad appeal, everyone really likes it. And I also like the amount of falling over in it because nothing is funnier than people falling over. The last comedian that I wanted to talk about is Josie Long. She is probably my favourite comedian at the moment and I think this is because her comedy is just so happy. I think that she's really good because she preaches this sort of message of enthusiasm and self-improvement and being the best that you can be and as best as you can be at whatever and this sort of feeling of do things that interest you and that you love whether people think that they're necessary that important or not. Recently her programme All the Planet's Wonders was repeated on the radio and every single one you go away from feeling so um, brilliant, they are so happy and funny. There's this really wonderful balance between just sort of silliness and puns and being very childish and silly and then more sort of serious facts or sort of very heartwarming, nice stories and I think that, that is something that she does really well and I really like. I could go on for ages about how brilliant Josie Long is. I think that the message of enthusiasm and happiness that she promotes is a very good one and she's great. <laughs> So I could go on even longer about more women in comedy that I love and think are brilliant, but I'm going to stop now. So that's it. I There are obviously countless more women in comedy that I could mention. I wrote a list of just a few. Since writing it, I've thought of even more, but I just want to stop because otherwise I will not stop. So here we have Ava Vidal, there's Zoe Lyons, there's Shappy Core Sandy, Izzy Sooty, Lucy Porter, Sarah Millican, Francesca Martinez, Dana Alexander, Alice Lowe, Sarah Kendall, Celia Pacuola, Nadia Camille and Rasheen Conaty. Obviously there are so many more and those are just a few that I can think of off the top of my head. So, that's all for me. Bye!